today we're going to focus on real-world problems involving systems of linear equations. When working with real-world problems, the biggest challenge really is setting up your problems. Um, know that you have to have two separate variables, an x variable and a y variable, and look into the problem to see what kind of information you could glean in order to arrive at a solution. The bad news is that there's no one way to set up a word problem. But the good news is the more of them that you practice, the easier it will be to find those uh, identifiers and find the clues that help you to properly set up a problem. And you'll get more familiar with the context of the problems and it'll be easier. But the idea there is to practice them. So what we're going to do today is take a look at two examples involving word problems. Here's the first one. The total price of three chickens and two ducks is $27. The total price of four chickens and three ducks is $38 find the price of a chicken. Alright, so this one's pretty straightforward. Um, some people like to use X and Y. I'm fine using D for duck and C for chicken if it helps to set up the problem. So the total price of three chickens and two ducks is $27. The total price of four chickens and three ducks is $38. Find the price of a chicken. Alright, so now that I have my problem set up, I have to decide whether I'm going to use elimination or substitution. And in this case, the numbers really don't come out all that evenly. So what I'm going to do is multiply my top equation by 3 and my bottom equation by 2. Oops. So if I multiply everything in my top equation by 3, I will get 9c plus 6d equals 81 and 8c plus 6d equals 76. Then when I go ahead and subtract my equations, I get C, these cancel out, equals 81 minus 76, which is 5. So a chicken costs $5. In this case, my problem only asked me to find the cost of a chicken and not necessarily a duck, so I can stop there. I'm good to go. If I had um, eliminated the C from my equation, then that would have meant that I have the duck, and then I just need to input that value back into the equation in order to find the price of a chicken. Let's take a look at another example. At a concert, three adult tickets and two child tickets cost $167, whereas two adult ch tickets and one child ticket costs $103. Find the price of an adult ticket. Okay. So, first statement, three adults and two children cost $167, whereas two adults and one child equals 103. So in this case, um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and use substitution. Since in my second equation here, I can rewrite it to say C equals... 103 minus 2a. So I can go ahead and take that value and substitute it into this equation so that I get 3a plus 2 times 103 minus 2a equals 167. And then I can go ahead and solve for a, which is going to be my adult price. So 3a plus 206 minus 4a equals 167. Now you might be a little panicked when you combine a's because you end up with a negative a, but that's all right. You'll see why in a moment. Negative a plus 206 equals 167. So then my next move is going to be to go ahead and subtract 
206 from 167, and I get negative A equals negative 39. All right, well, I can't really have a negative A since I'm dealing with an adult here. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply everything by a negative, and that's going to get me A equals 39. So an adult ticket equals $39. All right, those were pretty straightforward. Most of the time you're going to get something similar to those, but every once in a while you're going to get a really challenging problem. And that's what this problem is. This is your challenge problem. And it seriously is a challenge problem. Um, Danny and Erica are three kilometers apart on a straight road. So here's Danny and here's Erica. They are three kilometers apart on a straight road. They set out to walk uniformly at the same time. If they walk in opposite directions, they will meet after 24 minutes. If they walk in the same direction, Danny will catch up with Erica after six hours. Find their individual speed in kilometers per hour. Now, this is a challenging problem. Here's my hint to you. If your answer is in kilometers per hour, notice that you have a value in minutes. You're going to have to do something with that. Also, the three kilometers is important in terms of setting up your equation or systems of equations. All right, good luck.